John Miller's artistic vision has become one of the most widely recognised of the 20th century. Working from his Cornish studio with its magnificent views across the Hale estuary to Godrevy Lighthouse, John painted his distinctive images of glowing beaches and deep blue skies, which are so widely recognised as to have become synonymous with the county of Cornwall itself. Messams enjoyed a long and very personal association with the artist during his lifetime, and we are delighted that this now continues through the management of the artist's estate. A sense of place was of great importance to John, and the places he visited during the 1970s and 1980s produced a major body of work inspired by the landscapes of Venice, Italy, Goa and India. Indeed, it was around the Mediterranean that John became fascinated by the strong sunlight that renders shadows as intensely dark as the light is bright. These experiences loosened his brushwork and brought a new intensity of colour to his later paintings, focusing on the West Country. In later life, alongside his passion for art, spirituality was a central theme of both John's life and work, evidenced most notably in his collection of deeply personal interior paintings. Having considered at one time becoming a monk, he was a committed Third Order Franciscan, and in the early 90s became a lay canon of Truro Cathedral. His paintings reflected an inward contemplation informed by these religious convictions. This spirituality is echoed in the large group of flower paintings created by the artist. The visual purity of these works hints at the deeply rooted spiritual beliefs at a time when he had developed a personal symbolism in which the sun came to represent the renewal of life. John Miller was a kind and generous patron to many good causes, frequently supporting museums, churches and schools. Encountering his art and exploring this extraordinary output, the viewer cannot help but feel touched by this sense of purity and goodness which forms the very heart of the imagery and, it would seem, the man himself. <laughs>